Everybody, we're back. It's happening again. Ultimate Masters. With the ultimate box topper and the fake dig through time that was literally never printed. I couldn't help myself. It's time to open it. It's time to get back on the Ultimate Masters train. If you want to support Booster Therapy, it's just the easiest thing in the world. Subscribe. Thumbs up. All that stuff. Subscribe and thumbs up. What are you gonna do? Be a friend. There it is. The box topper. Let's do the quick inspection. Can you see through it? Do you see anything there? No? Oh, okay. Boy, we got Carnes and Lilies and just so many good things. And oddly enough, if you've been watching, the prices on these boxes have come down a tiny bit. Supporting us is easy. Thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, patreon.com slash booster therapy. Just click some of the links in the description. Let's just let me shut up and stop being shameful and start looking through some Ultimate Masters. Drake, we got spread of foil in every pack. It's been a while. My mean slime. And Ancient Tomb right away. We start off with some heat. Ancient Tomb, we'll always do a quick check through the Uncommons, because, you know, there's a ton of good ones. Oh my gosh, I missed opening Ultimate Masters. It feels like it's been years. Years and years. Oh my god! Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre Foil Mythic! Pack 2. And it's a foil mythic. Mamma oh, mia, that's it's a, a double spicy mythic bag. meatball. Oh, okay. I'm back. Mana Vault. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is exactly how I wanted to come back into Ultimate Masters. This is an insane first. That's two packs. What you're looking at right there. That's two packs of cards. We got a foil Ulamog and a Mana Vault and an Ancient Tomb. I... That, that's the most insane start I've ever had. Treasure Cruise Foil. Love this one. This one I'll actually put aside in those high value, that high value card pile. No, and a no, 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 spice. Somebody's going to hate me. Somebody already hates me. They're like, what is this guy doing? This is a resealed box. Booster Therapy is a bunch of liars. I promise I'm not lying. At the end of the day, I don't care because look at the cards I'm opening. This is nuts. All right. So we've got Noble Hierarch, Ancient Tomb, Mana Vault, Ulamog, Foil. A Foil Treasure Cruise, which is also good. It's probably one of the best commons in the set. Elemental. We got a Flight of Fancy Foil. And Caracas, another Mythic. Ha! <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Caracas, that's great. Ooh, Sleight of Hand and Buried Alive. We got two good uncommons in that one. Actually, I'm going to take out all the treasure cruises if I spot them. They're just too good. So Caracas, the other thing that's good about Caracas, it's legal in Oathbreaker, and I feel like Oathbreaker is still going to gain some steam. It's just a really amazing format. It's a lot of fun to play. Patchwork Gnomes Foil. And... The Thespian's Stage. Nice little combo piece to get that big boy out right away. The Dark Depths. The Merit Lagey. Lodge, Lage, Luggy. Man, I just love opening these packs. I wish this was a 36 pack set. I hate that it ends so fast. Become immense. All is dust. Another really good rare. I mean, it's a sack board wipe, so hard to dodge with those indestructibles. And on top of that, any deck could play it. Every single commander deck out there could play that card. Ooze. Resurrection foil. And the Woodfall Primus. 
Can't have enough of these. These are great for Commander. <gasps> the Boggle. The Slippery Bogle. All right. I wonder, what do I, a Liliana? I guess you always want a Liliana. If I'm honest, I'd rather have a Snapcaster Mage. They're just more playable for me. Liliana is good, great, but not as strong in Commander. Revel Arc, there's a strong commander card. It's a combo piece, ladies and gentlemen. That thing with any sort of resurrection card just loops and loops and loops and loops. And the one that's really good is that angel with protection from black, whose name I can't remember because I'm too excited about a foil Ulamog right now. Good lord. Spider. A mere servant. Servitor, sorry. And Glenelendra, Archmage. Another great rare. And a lot of these are slowly kind of creeping back up in their value too, which, you know, is always nice to see. But for me, the biggest thing about opening this set is there are so many playable cards. Like, I don't feel as bummed out by PAX even when it has like a Revel Arc because it's a huge combo piece. Whirlwind Adept, and the Phyrexian Altar. Speaking of combo pieces, that's one of them. It's a really good one. The Fiend Under. Oh, man. This ridiculous start. Ancient Tube, Noble Hierarch, Phyrexian Altar, Coil Ulamog, Mana Vault, which is like 30 or so bucks. That thing climbed way back up. Caracas, mid-rangey, still good. Grave Scrabbler Foil. I have said it before in previous openings. I feel like I get a foil one of these in every box. And Bridge from Below, nerfed to hell. Why did it get banned? I loved that card so much. Ooh, Lab Maniac. Another good uncommon. Oh, it's a wild Marble. Okay. Karn. You know, Kozilek, too. I could use Kozilek. He's just always so good. Magma foil. And Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth. Another insanely valuable rare. Go figure. It's Ultimate Masters. Everything is good. This is an amazing box. My God, that box topper. What's it going to be? I wonder. I wonder. What's it going to be? Elemental, Soul's Fire, and the Ruined Halo. This card used to be more played. I think it's kind of lost its luster in play, actually, on Burial Rites and Fecundity. I'm going to take those out. Not high value. They're two cards that I'm going to use in a couple decks. They're just really good. It's a nice way to save your combo pieces, too, when you're doing the whole Revlark combo if they if somebody makes it misfire sky spear cavalry and the fulminator mage another really good card another good modern staple oh the murderous red cap jared are you watching are you watching this do you remember what he does do you remember what he does when when this guy Says, hello, it's Grom Gully. Oh my gosh. Did you know? Did you know that these two are best goblin friends? If you want me to tell a story about that, let me know. I can tell you what happened with that at Command Fest Chicago. And how confused people are when I had a Corval deck with a goblin recruiter in it. Real good. Real good. Fairy Rogue. Ooh, the Wickerboro Elder. That's a really good card. Rick Wickerbow. Wickerbow Elder. And through the breach. You know, another ten plus dollar rare. Why not? And that beautiful artwork with an Emraku just busting through. Alright. What else can we get? There's just so much. Rexine Tower is still in here. Still plenty of mail. Oh my god! God, it's a foil Gaddic Teague. Another foil rare, and it's a great one. 
it's just this box is so good. It's so good. And a nourishing shoal. A nourishing shoal. Another combo piece. Not a high value card, but it's super playable. I don't know if anybody's seen that modern combo where nourishing shoal is really kind of the staple to gaining mass amounts of life. A foil eternal witness. Another incredibly high value foil. My God, and it looks beautiful. That artwork is just amazing. And the flagstones of Trocare. I'm gonna need to keep doing this. I need to open more of my ultimate master's boxes. There was no better set to open. I've tried, I've tried. This is just too good. Gulgari Brown Scale and a Celestial Colonnade. Ah, oh, a great man land. A man land that is a wind condition because its body is so big. God, look at how many good, I mean, just so many good commons and they just feel so good. That Japanese print run is solid. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Please give us love if you love us. Just kidding, that was desperate. Okay, the canker abomination. And Gamble, a nice little tutor. That's right, Demonic Tutor and Gamble, both in this, would take a Demonic Tutor as well. This box is crazy. Demonic Tutor, see there's just like so many good, Phyrexian Tower, Demonic Tutor, Back to Basics, so many Mythics. There's a lot of things you just, you just there's so much you can hope for. Ingot Chewer. And Micaeus the Unhallowed. This is easily one of my favorite mythics in this set because I put this in so many decks. Remember how Grumgully likes Murderous Redcap? So does Micaeus. And I don't know if you've seen his price. Well, you just did. He is on the climb for his value. Sleight of hands. Treasure Cruise. Some good non-rares sitting in that one. All right, well, we got three Mythics. You might not see another Mythic, which is fine, because we've done very well, especially with a foil Ulamog. But what I am hoping for is maybe one more. Merit Lage. Ooh, foil Laboratory Maniac. Again, another, another uh, foil in common that's got some serious value. And the Sublime Archangel. Remember when this was a mythic and people considered a good kitchen finks? Another really good uncommon. Man, we are just kind of getting everything. Oh, yeah, Kodama's Reach. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to dig through it. I'm sure I've gone through a few of those. Those are a dollar all day. Three packs left. We're on the bottom portion of this beautiful box. Zombie. Faith's Fetters with that demon all lashed down. And an Entomb. With that wonderful Seb McKinnon art. This is still one of my favorite playmats. That art expanded and blown up just looks so cool. Oh, can we sneak in a demonic tutor? Or maybe a cavern of souls? I think that's in here. Can we get one more mythic? Can we make this a five mythic box? Fiery temper. Gosh, do I love this card. Love Madness. Lava Claw reaches. There is the gold you are looking for. Rakdos loves it. Oh, Eternal Witness. Better than the Lava Claw. Can't ever have enough of those. So far, only two, right? We got the foil one and that one. Ooh, Chainer's Edict. One pack left, and then it's box topping time. Can we get a Lily in the clothes? Well, we'll start with the news. A foil spark spitter. And our last rare pack is a Vengevine. It's another mythic. Ha, 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 ha. Five mythics in the box. I'm going to get them brains. Okay. Wow. What a box. This is nuts, man. Five mythics in the box. It's not even counting whatever the heck this is. 
Uh, we're about to find out. I just want to make sure I don't want to damage it. Where's the right way to open this? Oh, oh there we go. be all the marbles right here Ooh, gorio's vengeance box topper look at that box man celestial colony foil teague this was crazy this is why these boxes are so good Thank you so much. Please hit that like button. This was a crazy box. If this thing gets enough views and love and likes, I might have to just do another one of these boxes. That was fun. Thank you so much, Booster Therapy. Bye. Box Topper.